what's up guys nothingwire.com and today we have the latest sony vio pro 13 it's a 13.3 inch windows 8 power touchscreen ultrabook from sony and sony wants you to believe that this is one of those laptops that should be used in a science fiction movie why because this guy's got funkiness and uh, cutting edge and expensive features written all over it you get a carbon fiber body it's one of the lightest is what sony promises you one of the thinnest at just over half an inch at the thickest end a windows 8 touchscreen capacitive screen backlit a keyboard ssd nfc and all those funky stuffs so in this video i'm going to give you an in-depth review of the hardware and user interface of this particular ultrabook no doubt the uh, pro 13 is very light at about one kilo it's also incredibly thin and very edgy actually this edge kind of you know pokes you if you're using it on your lap you know at times they're, they're very edgy there you can see it keeps on poking me on my lap actually yeah but um, otherwise it's called carbon black and you can see why carbon fiber matte finish black it's fingerprint magnet there you see millions of fingerprints all over the body the back side's got a nice brushed metal look however you got the vio logo here in black is the same color and fancier one on the front hints of metal at the logo and then also on the back like the vio duos nice metal sheet over there you also got two feet here to protect this thing from getting scratched when you open and use the laptop you see it's very thin here it's about 0.68 inches and the tapered ends makes it look all the more thinner at one kilo you can carry it anywhere and you won't be tired you can walk you can probably you know walk with it standing day long and still you won't feel the weight it's that light and advantage of a carbon fiber body is although it's expensive but carbon fiber is very lightweight much lighter weight than uh, your other metals also at the same time very sturdy now at times you might feel I'm just gonna show you and there you see how thin it is almost like a blade yeah so you can see how thin the display is it's possible only because of the carbon fiber because it's a touch screen so you also you also should have that uh, touch coating on top so full marks to sony for still making the display so thin even here it's so thin that you almost feel like you're holding just one sheet of metal here it's very thin and you'll you'll know when you when you press you know the touch pad and then you hold and you know you keep your finger here and then press the touch pad it almost touches that finger you almost can feel it. it's that thin it's incredibly thin and also at times you might find that you can actually bend these guys a little yeah you can just about bend these guys a little so they feel kind of rickety but that's not because that is a property of you know, carbon fiber it's little stretchable very slightly more stretchable than your other metal so uh, don't fret thinking that it's rickety and uh, because, because you can just bend it a bit there you can see I can just I can bend it just a bit uh, just because you can bend it it'll it's gonna break no it's very likely won't yeah so let's check out the port now nothing here except the logo of course you have the DC in here and the air vent nothing here as such but on top you got those stereo mics there you see the left one and the right one on the right side you have the SD card slot 3.5 mm jack two USB 3 or ports one of them is a charging port you can see the lightning bolt there that means that even when the laptop is switched off you can charge your mobile and laptops via this port you have got an HDMI out as well on the back as I showed you this nice metal sheet to add to the looks 
and you got this nice fit that actually hit the bottom when you open it so that the metal part does not get stretched and uh, that doesn't get the scratch and also it kind of you can so that you can tilt it a little more than what it could and then your hinges and back side you got all rubber padding prevent scratches again whole part is rubber coating and then you got your connector for the external battery sheet um, the Vio Pro comes with an 8 cell battery that Sony promises will give you about 8.5 hours of battery life um, when you connect the external battery sheet here it doubles the battery life so again it should give you 17 hours of battery life now we do not have that external battery sheet so we could not test it there but uh, in general this guy gave us about seven uh, seven hours and 20 minutes of or seven hours and 15 minutes of moderate usage so that's pretty good for an ultra book yeah that's also helped by um, the very good processor now the sony vio 13 is powered by intel's first fourth generation haswell processor that's the latest intel haswell processor it's a core i5 uh, 4200U 1.6 gig processor that can be overclocked to 2.6 gigahertz. It's an ultra low voltage processor, so that's why such a long battery life. Uh, apart from that, you also have 4 GB RAM here, you have a 128 GB SSD. Yeah, and you know, that's about it. That's that's kind of a power thing, a typical ultra book. Um, configuration however this is one of the first devices to come with a Haswell uh, processor let's open it then let's check out what's inside so there you can see that's touchscreen 13.3 inch yeah 13.3 inch TFT capacitive screen on top you have the 1MP webcam there would be a camera indicator that's the beautiful keyboards and 85 keys are there you have the VIO assist button here yeah which will launch the VIO care and all kind of those troubleshooting stuff then you have the ambience sensor here so the moment it gets dark this guy sees it and it will automatically backlit the keyboard I'm gonna show you how it does that and that's your power button and then you have your touchpad this also has NFC built here very thoughtfully uh, you see the uh, mouse buttons are not demarcated it sometimes actually gets a little difficult here you see this part is brush metal however the touchpad as well as the uh, keys background is actually matte finish and in fact this is very sandblasted kind of a look this is a simple mat like this part almost yeah so those are the first row are the F functions and as you can see the blocks are there only activated when you use them with the F and key here this is the windows button that toggles between the desktop and the lifestyle mode yeah right mouse key and almost all the things very wide um, nice island style keyboard and uh, they've left a lot of space here probably it could have um, inserted another number over here but anyway um, nice to type in very nice tactile feedback enough space between them very nice yeah so let's go and quickly switch this on and show you another uh, feature uh, why it's so expensive the moment you switch on it has a five second boot up time and before you know it boots up there you see and there you can see um, the keyboard is backlit now for those of you who wants to see it in dark I'm just gonna switch off the light of the room you see how brilliant the keyboard looks yeah. 
there you go so now the back lights are off but then I can trick the sensor by you know moving my fingers there so it gets dark and back lights are on again yep so that's how it senses so let's go and check out the user interface now so you've, uh, you've got Windows 8 single language edition here running it's a touch screen very responsive smooth there you see yeah and with this with the windows button you can simply toggle it between the desktop and lifestyle mode there you see yeah so that's all your lifestyles you can go to the store and add additional apps from your yeah so we're not gonna go too deep into uh, how windows 8 looks like because that's not what this particular review is all about this particular review is mainly about the vio we'll come back there and then we'll straight away go to desktop and i'm gonna show you the pc info which is important so there you see that's your PC info there yeah. it's powered by you can see an i5 4200U CPU 1.6 gig 4 GB RAM and then you have a 64 bit processor a 64 bit operating system 5.6 Windows Experience Index you know benchmarking also this guy was quite strong now what else? Let's check out what apps that come with it. So this is the extensive list of apps. Not all are full versions. Um, for example, the Office and the, for example, you get Office 360 degree, which is actually not full version. Let's increase the brightness a bit. This is not a uh, full version. This is a trial. A trial, by the way, and these are pretty much the apps that you get with it plot are here so you can probably pause the video at this point and look at the apps yeah. we'll go back to metro ui yeah so nothing much to talk about Windows 8 it's pretty much the same there is no uh, customization however very smooth as I told you smooth and feather touch and everything so double click I think even the touch response is amazing yeah there you see double click on this Nice. So all in all, it also uh, takes ten fin, uh, you know, ten fingers input. So uh, you won't be needing ten fingers it, uh, input, but otherwise, if you're doing a collaborative something, that you then you might need more than uh, you know, three, four fingers, but not ten fingers as such. But still, it's nice to have features. And uh, most of these features are actually uh, ornamental, like carbon fiber. Of course, you can. Uh, do without to save the cost but then it's good to have it this is not for those uh, budget conscious people um, this is for those who want performance and nothing else and money is not a constraint so let's talk about the price now um, there are actually three models one 11.1 inch model and then two 13.3 inch model this is the lower variant of the 13.3 inch models so this one is powered by the core i5 and then you have the core i7 powered another 13.3 version um, this one cost about 1250 dollars on amazon.com and the core i7 version cost about 1799 about 1750 dollars something like that 1700 odd dollars on amazon.com um, in india the core i5 version that is this one cost about 75,000 indian rupees and the core i7 version cost about 1 lakh 
10,000 rupees. Carbon fiber is expensive and it also has the SSD, so 128 GB SSD. That also is quite costly. Um, the optional battery sheet come for about $150. Uh, you can upgrade the SSD as well. Those also will come pretty hefty in three figures. So if you wanna add those, then the price increases significantly. Um, the 11.1 .1 inch, I, I don't remember the price, but it's got almost same specification and main difference is of course the screen size. So overall, we absolutely love this device and if money is no constraint, I would prefer it over the MacBook Air 13.3 inch Core i5 version actually. You also have the Samsung Series 9, which is also a very, very, uh, you know, strong competitor to this guy. However, carbon fiber and the looks, I, I find the looks slightly better. Um, you know, some finishing here and there are very classy. Um, the weight, you know, the way, the thinness of it all and there's something about design that Sony every time does correctly. So I'll definitely prefer it over the MacBook Air 13.3 inch Core i5 version. Uh, well, Series 9, I'm not sure that's more expensive than um, this one. When there, it comes to that, I think carbon fiber comes into the play. Thank you.